Internet Marketing for SMEs, the Top 5 Hurdles and How to Overcome Them SMEs are falling behind the times with their websites and online presence. For search engine optimization purposes, SEO, or Google slash Bing slash Yahoo rankings, it's preferable to have your blog integrated into your site, but if you want a quick result, you can create a free third-party blog in seconds flat at Blogger or WordPress.c, integrate Facebook comments, likes and shares into your own site. If you have the time to do this, it really pays off, because it means visitors are commenting on and referencing your site instead of your Facebook fan page. Facebook's area for developers has a vast array of widgets and creates the code for you, you just have to copy and paste into your website.2. Few SMEs use social networking with so much of business happening through social networking business pages, you can't afford not to be here duh. If it's an issue of time, remember that you can integrate your Facebook and Twitter so when you update one, the other will be updated automatically. Just go to Facebook, type Twitter in the search bar, and click on the app which appears. This will link your Facebook and Twitter profiles, saving you valuable time updating your social media. Point three. Many SMEs argue that search engine optimization, SEO, is too costly an investment you can learn a lot about SEO yourself or from free resources. Google's Webmaster Tools are a good place to start for outlining the basic principles. If you want to go further and you can edit your own website, My SEO Tool is a great resource as it will give you specific guidance on what to change in tasks to help you accomplish your goals, as well as helping you track your progress. Don't forget to take advantage of free advice. Lots of internet marketing professionals offer free consultations as a taster. Look for these offers and plan the specific questions you want to ask or areas where your knowledge is lacking to ensure that you make the most of these sessions. Point 4. Customers want more consistent branding from SMESU, don't even need to know much about web design for this one. When you employ a graphic or web designer, ensure that you get the image and text files from them in editable form, so that they can be manipulated in future. If you are going to invest in a designer, Ensure that the designs are fully workable on the web as well as in print, then you can make sure that your branding is consistent across different media. Some good questions to ask are, will that font work on all browsers, and what measures are in place to ensure that people can find my site and know that it's me? Ideally, you should be asking a designer these questions before you sign up to their designs.5. Basic features like email forms are missing from many websites I am a big believer in the email contact form. They're more professional, they give the impression that you care about the contact and they'll mean less spam to your inbox because they do a better job of protecting your email address from those who'll abuse it. Simple copy and paste code for email forms is increasingly easy to find and customize online. If you really are codephobic, you can use SurveyMonkey to create a form which will collect responses for you. Simple as that. S O now, there's no excuse. Let's make 2011 the year SMEs shake off web phobias and embrace the internet age. <laughs>